Hey, it's Rachel. Last fall, I posted a video about using cover crops and leaves to build soil over the winter. I received a ton of questions on that video. In fact, I did a whole second FAQ video, but one of the questions I was not able to answer until now was, what does it look like next year? What happens in the spring? And what about all of the remaining crop residue left over? Now, the short answer is, at least when it comes to the cover crop itself, you won't have any residue. This is one of the beds where I used this treatment. And you can see, if I pull back this thick protective layer of leaves on here, there is absolutely no residue left of the original cover crop. And these beds in the back, if you recall from last year's video, had an extra treatment. I had finally chopped up a bunch of leaves and worked those into the base of the cover crop before I laid it flat and covered it up. And all of that leaf material that was finally chopped up has also completely disappeared. And it has been worked thoroughly into the soil by worms and other friendly neighborhood soil recomposers. The reason the worms and others were able to work their magic is because they had this fluffy insulating layer of leaves on top, shielding them from the winter cold. That has broken down a little bit and it has compacted considerably versus what it looked like last year, but those leaves are still present and you have two choices about what to do with them. For direct seeded crops like this arugula and some beets nearby, I go ahead and rake off that leaf cover and I add it to the compost bin to decompose through the rest of the season. I much prefer option two, and I use it whenever I can. Anything that can go in the ground as a transplant, I much prefer to leave this in place. I simply pull back the leaf cover, tuck the transplant into the soil, and replace the leaf cover again. It then remains in place, slowly breaks down into the soil, and in the meantime, it acts as a weed prevention and a moisture retention tool for me. Through my protective cover here, you can see that remaining leaf debris doing its job around my pea seedlings. And I'm going to leave it in place on the rest of the bed, also plant my tomatoes and my peppers straight in through this cover. So there you go. I finally answered the one remaining question. What do you do with the debris? Hopefully nothing. Just leave it in place, plant your transplant straight through it, and for those few crops that need to be direct seeded, go ahead, rake it off, and add it to your compost pile. Either way, it will either build the soil directly, left in place, or indirectly, eventually, as finished compost. Either way, win-win. Thanks.